any sign of William? No. Where have you been? I'm not late, am I? You're late when I say you're late. in the dark. You weren't here and I didn't like to touch the curtains with my dirty hands. I'm quite right too. Why didn't you put the lights on? I dared not But it's electricity, not the devil's hand they work. I'll have to get used to it sooner or later. Skeleton Park, they've even got it in the kitchens. What for? Breakfast is ready, Mr Carson. Oh, William, any papers yet? They're late. They certainly are. Get the board out so you can do them as soon as they're here. Is the library tidy? Yes, Mrs Hughes. Good. I want the dining room given a proper going over today. You can do it when they finish their breakfast. Oh, heavens, girl! You're building a fire, not inventing it. How many have you done? This is my last till they come downstairs. Very well. Now get back down to the kitchens before anyone sees you. Papers at last. William? You're late. Yeah, I know, but... But what? You'll see. Do the times first. He only reads that at breakfast. And the sketch for her ladyship. You can manage the others later, if need be. Silly. We won't want his lordship's hands to be as black as yours. Mr. Carson, I think you ought to see this. I can't make myself believe it. Me neither. His lordship's dressed. William! Will you stop talking and take this kedgeree off? I mind the burners are still lit. Yes, Mrs. Patmore. Is it really true? Afraid so. Nothing in life is sure. Saying. I believe so, my lord. I'm afraid we'll know some people on it. I don't suppose there are any lists of survivors yet. I understand most of the ladies were taken off in time. You mean the ladies in first class? God help the poor devils below decks. On their way to a better life. What a tragedy. When Anna told me, I thought she must have dreamt it. Do we know anyone on board? Your mother knows the Astors, at least she knows him. We dined with Lady Rothes last month. There are bound to be others. I thought it was supposed to be unsinkable. Every mountain is unclimbable until someone climbs it, so every Lady. ship is unsinkable until it sinks. Good morning, Papa. Good morning. What's that? Just arrived. Telegram.
Is her ladyship awake? Yes, my lord. I'm just going to take in her breakfast. Thank you. May I come in? Isn't this terrible? When you think how excited Lucy Rothis was at the prospect, it's too awful for any words. Did J.J. Astor get off? Of course, that new wife of his is bound to have been rescued. I've had a telegram from George Murray. One of his partners is in New York. Yes? It seems James and Patrick were on board. What? They can't have been. They weren't going over till May. Then they changed their plans. They're definitely on the passenger list. Thank you, O'Brien. That'll be all for the moment. But surely they were picked up. Doesn't look like it. You must tell Mary. She can't hear about it from anyone else. Are you ready? <laughs> I hope you're not too unhappy about the way things have turned out. Downton will be a very different place without you at the helm. The world is a different place from the way it was, my lord. And Downton Abbey must change with it. Make sure there's enough to drink downstairs tonight to see the new year in. May I take this opportunity to wish you and her ladyship the happiest of new years? No one could pray for your good fortune more heartily than I. We are very grateful to you, Carson. I hope you know that. Very grateful indeed for everything. I'd like to go on working, lady, if we can sort out the baby. We'll have him here in the nursery during the day to be followed by a young Talbot in due course, and then we'll see. Oh, I've come to summon Lady Mary and Mr Talbot downstairs to see the new year in with us. This is for you. Thank you, my lord. That's very kind. Is it that time already? Did Edith get off all right? Oh, yes, hours ago. Is this the new arrival? It is, my lady. I am a father. And I have a son. We have a son, John. <laughs> Congratulations to you both. I'm ever so sorry to be in here. We'll be gone as soon as she's able. Oh, don't worry about that. We ought to go down. Happy New Year. I'm afraid Mama would find it rather unorthodox. Maybe. <laughs> but you know what I think? I think the more adaptable we are, the more chance we have of getting through. We'll do it. The estate's safe in Mary's hands with Henry and Tom to help her. Edith has risen from the cinders in the hearth to be kissed by her very own Prince Charming. What more can we ask? A long and happy life together, just we two, to watch the children grow. That's all I want. And why not? We never know what's coming, of course. Who does? But I'd say we have a good chance. Quickly. <laughs> Take these. We're nearly there. It was quite extraordinary. It's so good of you to stay, Mama. It's good of you to ask me, Cora. It is your kingdom now, your village, it's your hospital. I think you run it very well. Oh. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Thomas. Happy 
New Year. different life. But we can make a go of it, Charlie, and I definitely mean to try. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Elsie. Would you like some wine, Mrs Hughes? Well, yes, Mr Barrow, thank you. Happy New Year. And a Happy New Year to you, Mrs Hughes. Thank you, Mr Barrow. Happy New Year. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind, should old acquaintance be forgot and old lang syne for old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne, we'll turn a little set for old lang syne. Makes me smile. The way every year we drink to the future, whatever it may bring. Well, what else could we drink to? We're going forward to the future, not back into the past. If only we had the choice. <laughs> <laughs>